Hello and welcome to today's video presentation, Supercomputer Final Project for Professor Bill by Dave and Ketter. Agenda. Today we look closely on what is supercomputer, history of it, use of supercomputers, management speed, architecture, multiprocessor supercomputers, advantages, challenges, operating system, latest supercomputer, and fun fact. So, supercomputers. What is supercomputers? Supercomputer is a computer with a high level of performance as compared to a general purpose computer. In 1964, KRC-CD600 computer computer was the world's fastest supercomputer, and the term supercomputer was soon used to describe it. The term supercomputer was appeared in late 1920s in the United States in MBM, Columbia University. History of supercomputers Supercomputers are introduced in 1960, which is created by Seymour Carey at Control Data Corporation CDC around 1960. Carey directed the design of computer which would be the fastest in the world by large margin. After a few years of experiment with Jim Thornton and about 30 other engineers, Gary completed the first computer CDC 600 in 1964, which led the market into the 1970 until Gary left his own company, Gary Researcher. He then took the supercomputer market with his own design, holding the top spot in the supercomputing for five years, 1985 to 1990. Today, the supercomputer typically designed and produced by traditional companies as it carries. Why supercomputers? Supercomputers are used for solving high calculation and intensive tasks like weather forecasting analysis of data and information, astronomical observation, combined design of engineering products, and solving large input scientific calculation and advanced scientific health problems. In general, speed of supercomputer is measured and benchmarked in floating point operation per second, in short form floats per second. Mega, Giga, Terra, Peta are name of those units. Here is the comparison between world's first and world's largest supercomputers. The CDC 600 has a speed of 40 megaflops, which is the entry level speed, and on the other hand, Funko has a 450 petaflops, which is the mid level speed in the performance chart. Architecture Supercomputer architecture have taken dynamic turns since early systems were introduced in 1960s. Early supercomputer architecture created by Seymour Carey related on compact creative design and local liquidity to achieve superior back performance. However, the supercomputer of 1970s used only a few processors. In 1990s, machines with thousands of processors have been introduced. By the end of the century, massively plated supercomputers with tons of thousands of on off shelf processors are introduced. Supercomputers of 21st century can be used over 100,000 processors, which is connected by fast connections. Multiprocessor computer Multiprocessor computer has a two or more CPUs. The CPUs that share different parts of computers like memory, disk, and bus. I hope you all know what is bus. If you don't, then check out the networking size. Anyway, each processor is compatible to running different programs simultaneously, which is true multitasking. Operating system Most supercomputers are running Linux and Unix as an operating system because those are extremely flexible, stable, and cost-efficient operating system. Currently, Linux are covering 83% of total margin share, but in 2010, it was covering 91%. The main reason of this growth is its open-source nature. The supercomputers are specific devices that build on specific purpose. This requires a custom operating system optimized for those specific needs. Advantages There are a lot of advantages of supercomputers like cost effective, security, speed, complex tasking, and environmental responsibility. The companies that use supercomputers save a lot of time in managing tasks, not only result in efficiency, eventually results the lower cost of run. And the, also, they are using supercomputers that are no need to order to purchase excessive physical parts and models. Supercomputers are also provided the enhanced protection by decrypting the password. And it also takes very less time to solve in calculation. Simple computers take almost 100 to 100,000 x lesser time than normal computer. Tasks such as result resolving animations can easily done by supercomputers. So car safety testing companies like NCAP don't need to crash a real car, and they can save a lot of time and money. Supercomputers are also helped to develop medicines and a lot of other chemicals. Challenges and disadvantages. Since there are a lot of advantages of supercomputers, there are also disadvantages like physical size, heat release, maintenance, storage, and power consumption. 
cube comprises are also physical large in size, which requires typically more than 1000 square feet of area. Also, to maintain supercomputer require a special staff to monitor and maintain a supercomputer. For this purpose, a special software has been developed to detect the failures. The supercomputer processing speed also requires a lot of space. The data that has been processed by supercomputer will be addressed by a drive, with a significant amount of storage the calculation cannot perform by supercomputer. Also, the large amount of number of processor can generate a significant amount of heat that can easily damage any part of supercomputer. And also, to run a supercomputer, it requires a 4 megawatt of electricity, which is amount of 5000 times greater than a normal house. Current World Fastest Supercomputer The current world super fastest computer is Funku. And it's from its name, you can guess it's from Asian nation called Japan. There are a lot of advantages of Fuku Supercomputer, which includes world's highest processing speed, which is 442 petaflops, greatest performance ever recorded, with highest speed ever achieved 1.42 exaflops, with 4.85 bit of highest speed memory, which equals to 1125 terabyte. But as you know, there are also a lot of disadvantages, which includes large amount of air required to keep it safe from outside damage, which connects us with a price tag of $1 billion of total project cost, which includes a large amount of cores, as much as 7.6 million cores. Since it's a computer, it required almost 30,000 kilowatt electricity per process. Fun fact, supercomputers are super fast, intelligent, time saver, and much more. But did you know that supercomputers don't have any screen or monitor? Yeah, that's right. Supercomputers don't have any screen or monitor. So thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day ahead.